So, welcome back, and may I introduce you to uh, my latest idea for this series. Welcome back to Let's Talk. But instead of just talking about NFL issues and all that stuff, I figured what would be a good way to carry on this series and still do something new with it at the same time. So, well... Well, let's get into it, actually. As you guys know, you guys literally only see me do a select few number of games on my channel. And that's not just because that's what's popular from coming from me. That is because those are literally like the games I've stuck to pretty much since... Uh, I'd say my, my tweening years, so 11, 12, and into my early teens, 13, 14. Um, and then it, I really diverged away from from video games for a while, and I lost my connection to them. So it wasn't until I would say, I want to say it was uh, 97, 98. Eight, um, and I just started playing the 64 again, and I got into GoldenEye just like everybody else. And then it started coming back, but then even after that, it kind of went to this kind of select few, and it was always football and whatever other random game was popular at the time, and it wasn't really like I was investing myself in playing all the games and, and finding stuff that I liked, because, I mean... My parents weren't poor, but we weren't, you know, well off either. So it was just kind of like we didn't have the money for stuff. So I just put it off to the side. And literally, it's only been the last few years that I've really been in a place where I was stable enough to actually spend money on extras, on extra stuff other than um, bills and responsibilities and stuff. And it helps having kids that uh, I'm like, hey, let's get them into video games. And that was an excuse for me to get back into it. So with that long-winded introduction, guys, here is the central idea of this. So in Let's Talk going forward, I'm going to go back, since I do have that uh, PlayStation Now, and I'm going to be trying the games that were popular, are popular, um, and from a perspective of somebody who doesn't keep up with it, literally outside of Madden, Star Wars, and Call of Duty, I am literally the the target demographic in the sense of I'm the the everyman, I'm the every gamer, I'm not the uh, the guy that follows everything, I'm not the guy that that looks into everything. Uh, literally, if I see something, I'll try it. So, that's what we're going to do with this. So, in this episode, guys, welcome, and let's talk about For Honor. Now, For Honor, I actually, I will admit this right off the bat, guys. Right off the bat, I will admit this right here, right now. This is a game that I love. I love these mechanics. I love the structure. I love the setup. I'm a little upset uh, that the campaign is so short. It's literally the three perspectives. I think you have about... Altogether, you have somewhere between... I think it's like... 8 to, to 10... Essentially, levels for each storyline. You have the Vikings. You have the Knights... And then you have the Samurai. Um, now, granted, I downloaded this during its free month on PlayStation Plus. So, literally, all I've done is play through the campaign. Even though more people say it's it's more about the, uh, the online multiplayer aspect of it. I have not tried that. All I wanted to do was just... I wanted to get a feel for the game. So, I wanted to download it and play its campaign. And, yes, I'm in love with this. But I can wholeheartedly admit to you guys, this is not a game where I would be good at. I will be moderate at this game, I'll be decent at this game, but I'll not be 
like one of the best. It's not like Madden to where it's like, yeah, I know I'm one of the best. I can look at someone's defense and I know what they're going to run. Most of the time people get plays off against me because I get ballsy and I try to make a play and it doesn't work. Um, but this, I, w I will 100% be a complete novice about it, honestly, because I think my reaction times are not what they need to be for a game like this and that's what usually holds me back with with any kind of um attack based game such as this like i love them to death but i'm never good at them and i can admit that and i'm okay with that but literally the graphics as you guys can see are amazing the move structure the combo structure um the attack dodge block parry kind of combos I love I love how you can mix it up now they do have a really specific timing rhythm to them that I am not able to get down as you guys can see right here I'm trying to 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 time out these these combos but instead of working all it's doing is just I'm running out of my stamina and that just is horrible there we finally got him there but um i i yeah i i cannot say enough about this game um i might go back and i might try the uh the multiplayer i don't know um but playing through the entire story mode there were a couple of levels none that you're going to see in this video because i'm literally only showing this run through of the level um there were a couple times where i literally rage quit like it was that that complex and as any of you guys who know me know i am i'm really just a relaxed like i'm not somebody who's gonna get all uppity and just like rage out on a game but this really made me rage quit. Uh, probably a good, definitely a good two times, possibly, possibly three. If you, because that last one really wasn't a rage quit. It was just like, ah, that kind of thing. But I mean, you could probably say three times. The, it, the game definitely made me quit like three times. Um, love it, adore it. I, I don't know. Because, again, I'm not somebody that looks into this stuff, but, I mean, I did kind of hear after the fact how uh, this game was not what everybody wanted it to be when it first came out. And I'm really, like, playing it at this stage, when they fixed everything, when it's all there. I really don't know how someone would give up on this game. This game is amazing. This game... It, it visually is amazing uh the the storyline some cheesy parts to it i i i will definitely admit that there are some cheesy parts to this storyline but for the most part it's engaging um the combat is awesome like the the choreography that goes into setting up a combo is great i love that more often than not you have to figure out the enemy's fighting style, if you will, how he stands, how he holds his sword, like how he holds his, his mace, like what kind of weapon he has. It is all so very vital for you to learn all this stuff and be able to uh, think and react in a quick mannered fashion in order to get away with it and then you got to learn as you can see like right here you got to figure out what you can use as combo as as defensively to be able to get under this guy's guard and be able to just hit him with as many strikes as you can get in a short amount of time because as you can see your stamina does not last very long at all it'll come back quickly but it will not last for nothing but so for honor like i said i don't know what uh 
this game's state was when it first came out. I did hear everything about it and how horrible and how atrocious it was. Um, but honestly, this game is easily... I, I might give it a... Somewhere between a 7.7 .7 and an 8. I would definitely give it. It, it is a very strong um, game. Both story-wise, campaign-wise. I love the campaign. Like I said, uh, that score might go up if I try the multiplayer and I end up liking it. But I typically tend to stay away from stuff like that. Unless it's uh, an established series that I know I like the multiplayer on. Because literally, I'm not... I'm, I'm a campaign guy. I'm a story guy. I'm not really into the whole multiplayer online like literally even playing call of duty like i hate to do multiplayer i hate it um i grew up in a time where it was straight story you know my my introduction to video games was side scrollers for the most part because i was born and grew up in the 80s like that's like when it was and that's what was popular at the time so of course side scrollers it's all story that's all it is it's all story. And so that literally was what drew me into this because it's so cinematic and the scope of it, I can see what, what they want to do with it and I love it. Um, it's just those few things and it's not because of the game, it's literally because of me. So definitely 7.7 .7 to an 8 out of 10. For, for Honor, it's something that I definitely, uh, I want to come back to. I might, you know, if I get bored with any of the other games that I have, I mean, this is definitely something that I could re-download and be like, hey, you know, let's, let's do another run through of the, of the, of the story mode. Um, so, definitely, if you guys have not played For Honor, I don't know if it's up for free on xbox or if it's discounted or whatever but if you guys have not played this game definitely you will enjoy it um it's not your typical button masher it is not you have to uh basically size up your opponent and uh strike him accordingly other than you know just be like oh let me throw this like little combo right here and then he's dead no like, these guys will block. These guys will definitely fuck you up. Like, big time. Um, if you don't take them seriously. So definitely, guys, if you have not played this, what are you doing? Pick this game up. Enjoy it. Um, I know I know a few people that have, have downloaded it and then, then just be like, oh my god, I love playing this game. I love it. Um... So yeah, I think that's that's all that I got for you guys. So uh, pick it up, enjoy it. Um, if you guys like this sort of thing, if you guys want to see me review other titles, let me know. Because literally, there is there are years and years and years of video games out there that I have not experienced and I have not touched. And I 100% am more than open uh, to downloading every single game on PlayStation Now just to try and record this and share my thoughts and share my experience with you. Uh, so with that being said, guys, thank you for tuning in. If you guys did like this type of video and this type of review for me, um, thank you for staying through it, by the way, because, you know, I like to ramble on. And if you guys can survive this, you're the real heroes right here. So go ahead and smash that like button, guys. Show your support for this video, this series, um, for the channel. If you guys are new here, remember to hit that subscribe button. Um, ring that bell to enable all notifications, guys. That way you can stay up on the action to everything I'm doing, to uh, all the new videos that are going to be dropping, and the series that I have going on concurrently on the channel right now. And as always, guys... My name is Dustin, and I have been your resident gaming dad for the duration of this video, guys. Peace.